Antarctica. So this is the Baradi Research Station, supposedly built for the country of India. And if you notice, it kind of looks a little fake. It's odd that it's built for a continent that is known for having a lot of wind and uh, a lot of snow. Um, it has a flat roof, and it's the building is shaped like a wing, and it's off the ground, so it's literally going to be a wing. And we're supposed to believe this. If I'm talking slow or hard to understand, I'm sorry. It's just I have a cold. I took some cold medicine. A video about the Elon Musk uh, car in space thing. The red car, you know, the star man in the red car and all that stuff. Here you can see, this is from uh, Subphotonics Channel, by the way, I got this. Um, you can see that the name of Elon, which is in and of itself a weird name, um, but this whole thing about Mars and colonizing Mars, it's been planned, but it's part of the script, you know, all the world's a stage. And we are merely players. Well, they are. I think we're being played. Well, I'm not. Not, not, not anymore about this, but uh, kind of I am because I'm kind of paying for it. <laughs> but um, the thing about it is, when you first heard about that Elon Musk is going to colonize Mars and all this stuff. And if it's somebody else, you know, you probably wouldn't believe it. But when it's a major billionaire figure like this, you know, you think, oh, it's probably going to happen. But wasn't that just the weirdest thought? And didn't it just come out of left field? And didn't you, if you're like me, didn't you think, why? Like, why? I mean, I get it. I get it. I was all into the space travel stuff, all that good stuff, whatever. But... Before I knew that the ISS was done in a pool, even, I just thought, you know, it sounds like a movie, like James Bond's Moonraker, for example, where they are going to uh, colonize the moon, and then while they're up there, they can wipe out the whole world with some disease or something. So Elon Musk is kind of like the bad guy of a Bond film. And just like a bad guy, you know, he likes to monologue. And his monologue pretty much reveals his doings, you know. And he mocks uh, his detractors. And he loves to tell them his plans. And it's really kind of comical in a way. I mean, very comical, I think. Um, here's, you know, delamination that would occur really fast out there, but you don't see it. Um, I just threw this in here because has anybody seen the hole in Michael Jordan's tongue? I mean, I remember him sticking his tongue out a lot playing basketball, but I just don't remember it having a hole in it. Um, can you find in this picture what I edited? Okay, don't think. <laughs> um, here are pictures of Antarctica. These are real photographs, and there is what looks like in the background some kind of structure. It could be the ice wall. And then in this camp, if these are real pictures in the background, the horizon doesn't quite look right. Here I thought it was interesting that they have different names for their places, the beer can or whatever, but they have the dome. <laughs> Remember Metallica played in there one time. Um, just kind of fascinating. But if you look in the background, it kind of looks like a wall. It, it could be the dome. And it could be like a mirror, almost. And you see that kind of CGI fuzz over the top. That may be where they airbrush or photoshopped out the reflection of the little... Um, station if it's a real station you see the way the way the flat earth map is you have to understand if you're on the outside of the ice ring your shadow is almost always going to point towards the dome 
So in these pictures, you follow the shadow, and it's like an arrow pointing to where the dome is. So, so I spent some time looking at the pictures, and I don't know if you can see what I see, um, but I, I didn't put them all up here. I downloaded some high quality ones and looked at them. Maybe I'll make a video sometime, but um, it's pretty interesting what you see outside of, you know, the camps and things. So what I said about the shadow, so you point to the outside the ring, but then these flat earth maps aren't exactly right. If you see the black lines I made on this one, those are flight paths and they would make more sense if they were straighter. And I did notice there are some versions of the map where the lines would be straighter. So I just wanted to point that out. So if what I'm saying is true, the Earth is flat, there's a dome, and there's Elon, Elon Musk is a liar character, and all these things, and space is fake, then satellites aren't real. And if satellites weren't real, then they would be using other methods than space satellites for about just about everything, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that's exactly what is the truth. And if you look here from this page on Wikipedia, it's as plain as it can be that they say that uh, they can deliver this anywhere on the planet, right? But then can they really, if you read down, um, they use uh, surveillance based separation standards on water that doesn't currently cover all the area, even though satellites would. Um, so there are remote areas over water and how are they going to rectify it? They're putting receivers on oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, for example, to relay information from aircraft equipped with the uh, whatever, squitters they call it, I don't know, the transponders, the, the telemetry data to improve surveillance coverage. Why? Because satellites aren't real. Satellites can't do it. Okay. Right here is proof enough for you. Why, why, why would they do that if they had satellites? Um, say, oh, well, it's a backup. It's never the satellites are used and the ground-based or water-based antennas on oil rigs is the backup. Nope, that's not how it is. Satellites are always the backup and they are never used. That is the plain truth. Um, and then they're always they're always uh, promising, oh, we're going to use space-based systems next year. That In 2016, they said it would be 17. 17, they said it would be 18. Now here, I just want you to see this. Look. See the, the exhaust, the, the rocket exhaust, it should be going down, and the rocket should be going up. But what do we see? By the end of it, the exhaust is going up and the rocket is going down. Reminds me of a speech by Al Gore during the 92 campaign. Everything that should be up is down and everything that should be down is up. <laughs>